Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2017 Dodge Durango, we're gonna be showing you how to install the eTrailer.com trailer hitch receiver. But before we get into that, why don't we just take a minute, check this out and make sure it's gonna work for you. With the Durango being a full-size SUV, you know, these things are pretty capable and people do a lot of different uh, things with them. And so having a hitch back here makes sense. You know, it's gonna open up your opportunities on, on what you're gonna be able to do. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, because this does happen, these actually have a, a removable panel here that pops off. And if you haven't already, you might get lucky. Check behind here, you might actually have a factory hitch on there already. If not, you know, this is definitely going to be an option um, that is feasible. Compared to some of the other hitches, um, I think this is one of the better looking ones in terms of, you know, uh, it being visible because you are gonna be able to see it, you know, it hangs down a little bit, but it don't look bad. It don't look out of place. It has a, a matte black finish. I kind of think it looks like, uh, you know, just blends in a little bit better. For those of you that are looking for something that is completely concealed, there is another option. Uh, like I said, it'll actually sit behind this panel here and bolt up. So when you're not using the hitch, you can put this panel on and, and not even see it. Uh, Obviously, there's more work involved to do that one, but if that's what you're uh, kind of set on, that's definitely something we're checking out. So this is going to be a class three hitch, which means it has a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. It's a super common size. A lot of different things are going to work with it. It is going to use that standard 5 8 pen. Keep in mind though, pen and clip doesn't come with the hitch. If you need one, not a big deal. You can grab it here at each trailer and honestly, a lot of accessories you, you end up buying. Uh, come with one so just keep that in mind the safety chain openings are a plate style and although they're not huge you know they're easy to get to and should work with just about any size hook that our trailer might have on it now we can grab a couple measurements these will help us figure out what type of accessories will work best if you go from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening that's going to be about 15 and a half inches so if you plan on pulling a trailer uh, changes are pretty good. You can use a ball mount that has a straight shank. To go from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of our rear bumper, it looks like it's going to be, let's say, right at about four inches. And that's pretty good clearance. But you can use that measurement to figure out that if any folding type accessories you might have can be stored upright without hitting the back bumper. Other than that, at the end of the day, I'd say this is just a good general purpose all around hitch, you know what I mean? It, it looks good, uh, gives us good clearance, and it's gonna be able to handle just about anything you wanna throw at it. Uh, as far as insulation goes, it's really not bad at all. Essentially, you just take out a couple of bolts from the frame, lift this up, and bolt it back in place. So, shouldn't really run into too many issues there, but if you'd like to see how it's done, feel free to uh, hang around. We'll go ahead and do it together now. To begin our installation, we're going to be underneath the back of our Dodge and we're going to be working right here in this area. Uh, on the side of our frame rail, we're going to have a couple of bolts that we need to pull out. So here are the two bolts. You may have three, you might have one in the middle too, just kind of depending on your model. Uh, but either way, they need to come out. And I'm going to use a 21 millimeter to get them removed. And I want to mention from this point on, anything we do to one side of our vehicle, we're also going to do it to the other side because it'll be set up the same way. So when you pull these out, you do want to hold on to them because we are going to be reusing them uh, to secure our hitch. So now if you look in the corner here, the seam, there's some sealer that runs through there. And from my experience, nine times out of 10, you try to put the hitch up and it interferes with it. So I'm just gonna remove it. Uh, just use a scraper, screwdriver, whatever you got. So this stuff kind of just peels off. Usually if you kind of score it first, you kind of get underneath there and uh, start to get it removed. So I'm just gonna go, you know, this whole six, eight inch length here and get all that out of the way. So now with an extra set of hands, you can take our trailer hitch, lift it up into position. With the uh, holes in the frame, take our hardware that we removed 
and simply just get it started. Uh, hand tight on each side. That way the hitch will support itself while we work on uh, the other bolt. So once we have our hardware in place and hand tight, now we wanna make sure to come back and snug it all down. Now we need to make sure to come back with a torque wrench and tighten down all of the hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. For the bolt closest to the front, don't have a ton of space. I do have a, a, a smaller torque wrench that's able to get up in there and tighten it down. But for those of you at home, uh, you might just have to lower your spare tire down a few inches to have the space to get up in there and, and get it tightened. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the eTrailer.com trailer hitch receiver on our 2017 Dodge Durango.